Welcome back all you fragrance fanatics and beauty babes. I am so excited. We have got to talk about this new vanilla perfume that just released. Sniff just released a brand new vanilla perfume that I could not wait to get my hands on. Um, but let's backtrack a little bit. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Sniff is a niche brand that is extremely affordable, um, more than any of my other designer brands that I have. And I love that when you buy their perfumes, you get a sample of it as well. And you can smell the sample, decide if you like the perfume or not, and then if you don't like it, you can send back the, the full bottle. Like a lot of companies, you know, they don't let you send back perfume once you've already got it at your house, you know, so. So I really appreciate that they do that. Um, and also Sniff are the ones that did the Crumb Couture, which is the most delicious, mouth-watering, buttery, crispy, flaky croissant that I've ever smelt in my life. Delicious. They did this one so good. So anyway, so so that so if that name sounds familiar, that's probably why, because they're the ones that came out with the Chrome Couture. Um, and by the way, this video is not sponsored in any way. They don't even know I exist. I just really dig the perfumes. <laughs> so let's start with the packaging. It comes in this packaging. It's called Vanilla Vice. And there is another Vanilla Vice out there. Don't get that confused with this one. Um, there's two perfumes called Vanilla Vice from different companies. Um, I don't know anything about the other Vanilla Vice. I only know about this one. So this is what the bottle looks like. They come in 30 mil bottles and they have a magnetic lid, which I love a perfume with a magnetic lid because I like to pick my perfumes up by the top. You know, I'm pulling them up from the top and I hate when you know, they're like falling all over the place. So let's get into, okay, let's talk about Fragrantica. This is so new. Fragrantica doesn't have much information on this yet. And what they do have, like no one's voted on this yet. No one's talked about like what they think of longevity. No one's left any comments down below, which actually I kind of appreciate because this way, it's just my thoughts. Like th there's, there's nobody else's opinion that I'm taking into consider. Like, like these are just my thoughts that I have come up on my own. You know, sometimes when you hear other people talk about a particular perfume, sometimes it can um, skew your judgment a little bit, even if you don't want it to. But um, with this one, there's nothing there. So it's just, it's whatever's coming out of my head. <laughs> um, so on for Grantica, it says that this is an amber vanilla. They got that right. This is a oh, hmm, delicious amber vanilla. Uh, let's get into the notes. Ice cream, Madagascar vanilla, jasmine salmback, amberwood, and musk. And this, when you first spray it, oh, oh my goodness. When you first spray this, it smells like you are taking a bottle of Baker's, you know, vanilla extract that you would use to cook with and you are dumping it on your arm. And then, oh, it becomes so creamy. This creamy, fresh vanilla ice cream. The most vanilla, vanilla ice cream I've ever smelled in my life and very realistic, thick, creamy vanilla, vanilla ice cream. And then as it sits on your skin, it, it starts to melt. It's like the ice cream is starting to melt on you. This ice cream is warm, not, not like um, these other perfumes I'm gonna talk about here in just a second, but um, it's not like a spicy, deep, warm. This, this is just um, a cozy, soft warmth. Like the, vanilla, like the vanilla ice cream has been sitting out in the sun and it's starting to have drips 
coming down from it. It's just like the drips of the vanilla. It, it, I hope I'm describing them right, but it just, mm, it just smells like melted ice cream on my skin, basically. And then you start to get the amber wood. The amber wood is the vanilla and the amber wood are the two dominant things here. I do get a tiny bit of um, the jasmine floating around on the side, but but she's not the she's not the main star of the show here. It is the amberwood and the vanilla, and together it's this warm melted vanilla ice cream. So realistic, but there's also a freshness to this that kind of lifts it up and keeps it from being too sickly sweet or too heavy or rich. Like it, it, it keeps it lifted up and fresh. Oh, so nice. It's so, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Next, we're gonna be talking about how this does as far as, um, you know, longevity, projection, things like that. Um, I would say it creates a very nice scent bubble. It's not going to be super loud beast mode, um, like some perfumes, but, but it definitely, you have a nice scent bubble. People are going to be able to smell you for sure. As far as longevity goes, this, this must be born again because it has everlasting life. Let me tell you, it is amazing. Now, of course, this is my, this is on my skin. I, so I can only go by how my skin did with this perfume. And I, this lasts forever on my skin. And I thought that I might be getting, I thought that I might be biased. I was thinking, do I want to smell this on my skin? So I'm thinking I actually smell it when I don't, or is it really there? So I had other people smell my arm and they said, yes, it's definitely still there. So it's not just me. It's not just me. It's not just in my head. Like I can literally smell this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. I mean, just forever. It lasts forever on my skin. Um, so the last thing I wanted to bring up was how they compare and what the difference between like all of my other vanilla scents that I have. I wanted to talk about um, vanilla or vanilla, Burberry Goddess, which is a amazing vanilla perfume. This one is like an, it is like a, a spicy, cozy, spicy, warm, cozy vanilla with some aromatic qualities to it. Um, this one has more latonic, it's more latonic, more creamy, more, um, more of a, actual I melted ice cream. Um, so that's kind of the difference with this. And honestly, this lasts longer than this one on my skin. But I'm wondering if I could combine these, if these would be like a powerhouse. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try that out. And then of course, we've got Devotion, which is another like, it's a really nice, creamy vanilla. But this has more citrus qualities to it. This one doesn't have any citrus stuff to it. Then I, I compared it to Vanilla 28. This is more of a dark, deep, rich brown sugar. Um, this has more uh, freshness and um, vanilla bean melted ice cream-ness to it. And then of course, I needed to compare it to my other milkshake themed perfumes, Yum Pistachio Gelato and Vanilla Milk. Now, with Vanilla Milk, I have heard some people talk about how there's this like weird chemical thing to it. And they can't really put their nose on it, but there's something weird chemically with this, with the smell of this. I was never able to smell that. I would always pick up on um, a sweet cream, ice cream smell with this. 
However, when you compare these side by side, like once you've had the best, now I can see the flaws in this one. Like now I can pick up on that weird, whatever that weird thing is in this. And it is, it's this weird chemical, I don't even know how to describe it, but it just, um, it doesn't smell quite right or quite realistic. Uh, kind of fake smell. This is just <sighs> blows it out of the water. Throw this one in the trash. You don't need it. And then, well, put them on Macari. Don't waste them. You can sell them on Macari, but <laughs> but you get the idea I'm saying here. Um, and then Yum Pistachio Gelato. Some people have said that this smells soapy on their skin. And I'm like, soapy? What? You know, I always, whenever I smelt this, I always got a thick, creamy marshmallow milkshake, a little boozy, a little sprinkled pistachios, yum, yum, yum. Like I said, once you've had the best, you just can't go back. You just can't go back to anything else. It's just not possible. This, I can smell it now. It smells soapy on me now. And that is because I had them back to back, like side by side smelling them. I get it now. I get it. This one is not, I used to think this one was realistic smelling. Like I said, until I've had a real realistic perfume. And now that I have, like, like, see you later, Yum Pistachio Gelato. Like, th this has stolen the show as far as my milkshake, vanilla-y um, type of perfumes go. Um, of course, with Burberry Goddess, she will always be a love of mine. But, but this is a totally different type of, you could definitely have Burberry Goddess, um, Devotion, uh, Vanilla 28. You could definitely have these in your collection and have this one. And they, they all four are different. Uh, so I wouldn't be worried about that. I mean, they're all four vanilla, but they all got different qualities. You know, you know. So that, I think, is everything that I wanted to cover. Oh, just like vanilla and amber wood. And it's just so, it's cozy. It's comforting. It's so, but it's got this freshness to it. And it's just so, it smells so realistic. And it's just amazing, amazing. I, I'm just so into vanilla amber perfumes. And especially like ice cream themed, like thick, creamy amber vanilla perfumes. Oh man. Um, I believe that they are sold out at the moment, but they're restocking quickly. I will leave a link in the description box um, in case anyone's interested because this is definitely worth it. I mean, if nothing else, get one of their little samples that you can buy. Buy You don't have to buy like a like a 30 mil. You can get like little sample bottles. Just get your nose on it because it just smells fantastic. Like it, it has just blown a lot of these other perfumes like out of the water. Oh, cannot say enough good things about this perfume. Um, Eventually, I want to do, I want to get more from Sniff because they are just knocking it out of the park. I want to get more of their perfumes. I would like to do like a dedicated uh, review on just like all their different perfumes that they have. But So I'm excited to get your all's thoughts on this new perfume. Are you excited about it as I am? Um, and also, are there any other milkshakey amber vanilla perfumes that I haven't tried yet that I should get my nose on? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. I know sometimes I can ramble. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.